Robert here. Um, I have some haul, both stitching related and not stitching related, but I'll save it toward the end of the video because I know not a lot of people like that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'm going to pick the winner for my giveaway from last week's video, but I'll do that toward the end as well. Um, I have some stitchy kindness and obviously whips no finishes no ffos i did look for frames when i was at um a thrift store which is what my non-stitching related haul is about uh, but they were really good deals and i just had to share them um so we'll start with stitchy kindness this is from julie gulf coast stitcher she reached out to me and so that she had a bunch of Ada um, that she wanted to get rid of and wanted to know if she could send it to me because I love Ada. Um, I said, sure. Um, I love the card. It says, you are amazing. It has little sunglasses with seashells. I love it. So thank you, Julie. Um, I'm not going to go through everything, but there's some even weave in here as well as um, Ada. One of my favorite pieces that was in here was this. Oh my gosh. I don't think the camera's picking up that correctly, but it's called Purple Dream 28 Count Even Weave. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, but I'll show you the stack. So all of this, I'm not going to go through all of it, but there's a bunch. There's even a red, I think it's a red, red Ada in there. That's really awesome. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. So thank you, Julie. This will get used. Um, I now have a stash. I was complaining because I didn't have, not complaining, but I was talking to uh, my husband about how I don't really have a stash of fabric. Um, I have a stash of patterns because, you know, a year ago when I started doing floss tube, I bought a whole bunch and there's a whole bunch like right here of different patterns and magazines and all sorts of things and then my grandmother cleaned out her um, uh, craft books so I got a whole bunch of stuff from her of cross stitching um, so there's all of that kind of stuff um, so I have a stash of that um, I do want to go through that and maybe do giveaways or whatever on those things at some point um, but anyway so I think I'll do, no, I'll wait till later to do my stitching related haul. Um, I did have a couple new starts. Um, oh, I had to reach, sorry. Um, this is gonna be part of my haul, my stitching related haul, but I got a 28 count, easy count, Lugana from 123 Stitch. Um, it's a 27 by 36 um, that I started uh, Stitcher's Retreat from Heaven and Earth. Ooh, it's washing out. There we go. From Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I'm doing it one sh over one. Oh my gosh. So I tried it one over one on 32 count easy count fabric and it just wasn't happening on this 28 count it's like the difference is night and day now the one issue that i'm having is these are three different colors of of dark threads but it almost looks like all the same color kind of um, there's a really dark green that you can kind of see the difference but 
I so far I'm enjoying that um, and I don't know if I showed this so I'll go ahead and show it um, these are the threads for uh, stitchers retreat that's the sticker that was on the fabric it came off so I slapped it onto the box so I knew what it was um, but I bobbinated everything except some of the 30 371 and the 310 and then I think there was one other color I didn't bobbinate to um, I didn't buy all the schemes that were required because I'm not entirely sure what I will use um, especially because I'm doing it one over one on 28 count and I think the pattern called for uh, two over two on 25 count, or maybe it was one over one on 25 count, something like that. I don't know. Can't remember, but there's that. Um, <clears throat> I had a new start. Um, I guess I'll show you the pattern. So this was a purchase. Um, and there's a bunch of people, too many to name, but a lot of people that were talking about uh, Jardin Privé. And so I had to, you know, bite the bullet, so to speak. And I got the Quakered Halloween. I think is how you say that, Quakered Halloween. I just love the way that that looks. So one of the pieces of fabric that I got from Julie's a 16 count it says 16 count lamb's wool but it's an Ada so I don't know if Ada comes in lamb's wool I don't know or maybe that's the color um, just a small start not not too crazy um, or anything but there's that um, so that's the the Jardin Privé or Privy. Uh, so there's that new start. Then I got some work done on my uh, spring quilt. Always forget to take the hoop off, but. There's where she's at. This is a spring quilt. I got some of the grass done. Finished all the flags, or the ribbons on the maypole, and started the first quilt. Um, and in case you forgot, that's what she'll look like right there very pretty I'm having a lot of fun stitching this one um, the hoop I'm using is a spring-loaded hoop from um, Hobby Lobby these are my favorite I find that I like the smaller ones because they hold in there a lot better than the bigger one Hobby Lobby has two sizes this one and then one that's a little larger the larger one for whatever reason it the metal doesn't go into the plastic as good um, so I'm not sure why that is or anything but there's that so that's my five season quilts um, I think there's four of us right now that are doing the sow um, there's me um, Darlene cross stitching Darlene Lori and then Kate um, if you want to join I'll put the hashtag down below but it's hashtag five quilts x stitch i believe uh, but i'll put it down below um next is we'll do this guy <clears throat> i don't know if i showed this or if i started it i don't know i'll show it if i if i showed it last week please forgive me um this is my ooh, what is it called 
magnel magnetic cloud, something like that. Um, from Hade Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, this is on the 32 count fabric, and I'm doing the it over uh, two over two. So there's that. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I do need to continue frogging. I had started the springtime quilt on here, and then I decided, you know what, this is really nice fabric. Not that the springtime quilt doesn't deserve nice fabric, but, you know, it was nice and large piece. I wanted to use it for this um, uh, Heaven and Earth. It's considered a mini quick stitch so uh, I think on on the website it was mini QS or QS mini magnetic cloud it's uh, 250 stitches by 250 stitches so it's still pretty big but not as big as a, a regular Hade but there's that um, cause I can't remember if I had shown that or not then, oh, I had another new start and a purchase. <laughs> so this goes with a purchase. Um, apparently, Stitchy Bug rules kind of dictated that this month was mania for me, apparently, because I've started a whole bunch of stuff. This is uh, Stitch Rovia's Santa's Here. I bought it on Etsy. Um, really pretty. It's got like a little town and then the Santa Claus in his sleigh with his reindeer. Um, it's not showing up because this is my working copy. So you can't see all the colors. But, I'll show you here. It is not very far. Um, but a start is a start. Um, I put in some of the stars. Um, it uses uh, light effects by DMC. Not a huge fan, but whatever. It is what it is, right? So I got the sleigh pretty much done. I need to do the back stitching. Um, and then I can. Well, I don't, I'm going to do the back stitching last. Um, but the back stitching has the rails underneath. And then Santa Claus obviously goes in there. Not a, not a big start, but enough, right? Um, this fabric I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and it's a, it's a new fabric, or at least it's new to me. Um, it's called uh, Artiste. It's a 32 count Belfast linen. Um, it's I'm stitching two over two. Um, this is a natural 32 count, 100% linen um, by Zweigart. So this brand Artiste is using Zweigart. But $14.99, I got it half off, so $7 for the 18 by 27 inch piece of natural um, and it's really soft like looking at it in the package when it was in the package before I bought it I, I wasn't sure if it would be soft or not I was afraid it wouldn't be because I've bought natural linen uh, before and I've got it over in my um, pile of fabrics that I tried to start something on and then I didn't like the fabric whether it was supposed to be an even weave, but it wasn't even, or, you know, whatever. Um, but there's a, a natural linen that's over there, and it's, I think it's a linen. Um, but it's a, it's a natural fiber, and it's very rough. It kind of feels like a burlap kind of sack or something. So there's that. Um, I didn't do any more on... My nephew stocking um, the bookmark redo. Didn't do any more on that. Didn't do any more on my 
uh, sampler piece from the Just Cross Stitch or my Prairie Schooler. Um, but let's see. I'll show my Mira, Mirabilia, August Peridot Fairy. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen, because I moved her into a smaller Q-snap, um, just for ease. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen, because when I moved her and moved the Q-snap and put it in a smaller Q-snap, I took a picture of how she looks right now, full top to bottom. Um, I'll insert it here. Um, but here's where I'm at. Not too far, but it's getting there. Her dress will go down here and then end like right somewhere down here and goes like that. So I still need to do the wings, finish all this up, and then I'm ready for beading. Um, I'm really enjoying her. And then I'm going to get her professionally framed because I kind of look at her as my child, <laughs> so, to, so to speak. She's my child. Um, <clears throat> I'll also show you, because she's my child, I have her in the bag that I bought from Marlene. Um, and this is what I'm giving away, not, not this bag, because I love it too much. But um, I'm going to give away one of Marlene's bags, so... Um, between you and her, you guys will have to pick out something, um, and then I'll pay for, for the bag and the shipping and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so there's that. She's in there. Then, last but not least, <clears throat> I know Jan's going to be ex uh, excited, Jan. Two two three or one two two three, something like that. Um, she was the one that had suggested that I. Sorry, dropped some flosses. She was the one that suggested what my um, goal piece would be to work on. Um, which was my dragons, uh, Imperial Dragon. Um, so here's what Imperial Dragon will look like. And I did work on it. Um, not as much as I would have liked to because Stitchy Bug rules and yeah. But I did get quite a bit done. So I got all of this little curly cue done. Got this part of the top middle curly cue. Started working over here. Got some of the dragon in. So it's coming along um, a lot further than it was. Um, so I'm liking that. Um, now, because of the giveaway, I did not see a comment. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I don't think I saw a comment on what I should do for a goal piece. Um, but what I'm going to say for my goal piece is so I'm going to decide this week um, comment below what you want to see me do and I'll pick that as my next week's goal so this week I will work on the sampler um, hopefully get it done not I'm not going to shoot for that but I'm going to work on it and as we discussed last week I need to have put at least 10 stitches uh, to be considered worked on. So I'll work on that, the sampler piece, because, I mean, let's face it, it's a sampler, so there's not a whole lot left to do on that, and then I can get it done and 
off of my list because that was a new start this year and we all know that I have too many whips going on. So there's that. Um, I will work on Mirabilia, but I'm not going to make that a goal piece. Um, but I will work on her so I can hopefully get to um, beating and then get her fully finished. So there's that. Um, put all these back in here. Or I'll get discombobulated. So... On to haul. I'm gonna make you guys wait for the uh, the deal. So I'm gonna do stitchy haul. The other haul I'm gonna do last after announcing giveaway winner. I think. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So haul. I've been a very naughty guy, naughty boy, naughty whatever. Um, this week. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, I bought two packages of my absolute favorite. Ooh. Washing me out. Come on. Here we go. Two packages of tapestry uh, size 24 needles by Peacemakers. I love these things. I don't know why. And they're really inexpensive. It's like two something for six of them. Um, and then when I was buying that, like the 32 count and I think the 28 count fabric called for 26, size 26. So I bought two packages of the size 26. And then because I'm getting so close to beating on Mira, I went ahead and bought the Peacemakers beading needles. Um, size 10 and 13, uh, two different needles, or four needles, but two different, um, sizes. So I got those. So there's that. Um, I got all of these first things that I'm going to mention. I got it one, two, three stitch. Um, and it was really quick shipping. Um, I like placed it and then I think three days later I got it or something. I don't know. So there's that. Um, of course, the Jardin Privé uh, Quaker de Halloween. So there's that. Ugh. Then I bought some fabric from them. I bought the 28 count um, ooh, easy count fabric that I started Stitcher's Retreat on. I also bought, and I don't know what project I bought this for. I think I have an idea. I bought this uh, 32 count, easy count um, fabric, uh, 18 by 27, so a smaller piece. And then I also bought a 32 count antique white Belfast linen 13 by 18. I originally was going to put the Quakered Halloween on this guy. And then I decided to start it on the other piece from Julie. Um, I may still do... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. Because my original idea was I was going to dye it. Um, kind of a neutrally color um, because I looked I looked at the dyed fabrics and they seemed really expensive on one two three stitch for some reason so I went with the white because I think this was like I don't know seven bucks or six bucks something like that I can't remember so then I got that and then I got yeah it was seven eighty two, so it was, you know, eight bucks. Then I bought another pattern. It's the Snow Queen by Joan Elliott Designs. So I can't remember who, but I saw several people on Instagram and I think Floss Tube doing her. And so when I saw her on 
one, two, three stitch. It was natural, I had to buy her. Um, and I think the 32 count, easy count fabric I bought for her, if I'm not mistaken, I think I bought her for that. Or bought that fabric for her, rather. Um, so there's that. Get all these put away here. Then, today, I went to Joann's to buy a few more things because, I mean, naturally, that's what you do, right? <laughs> um, they had a 20% off coupon, uh, your whole purchase, so that's what I did. Bought a bunch of crap. I probably didn't need, but whatever, right? It is what it is. Um, and then I used my app um, to get money back. My um, Ibota app. So, sorry, getting out of frame. So I had bought this, I don't remember when it was, but I had bought this Little House Needleworks um, Hometown Holiday, the Tree Lot uh, from 2015, chart number 10. I want to collect as many of these guys as I can because I think they're just too stinking cute. Um, so I bought all the flosses for it. Um, it had charted uh, classic color works, but it had DMC alternative. Um, I'm just doing it all in DMC. Eventually I'll get into over dyed, um, flosses, but I'm, I'm, I'm not there yet. Right. I'm not there yet. Um, so I just did it all in DMC. Um, and I think it'll look just fine. Um, I bought a bunch of buttons to make into needle minders. So I bought um, more of those ponies. And I think I told you guys that it was just another button company, but it's not. It's uh, Dress It Up Button Company. It's a USA company. So I bought two more packages of the ponies so I can turn them into Oops, that's the back side. Turn them into needle minders one, once I get the, excuse me, the bigger magnets in. I bought two different kinds of bees. So there's those. I really like those because they got kind of a semi-translucent um, smoky wing. So there's those that I'll turn into needle, needle minders. And then there's these. These, there's two different kinds in here. Uh, it's by a company called Flare. Um, some of the bees look like that, and then some is the sideways profile, like that. So there's that, and then I bought a bunch of these confetti brand buttons. Um, actually, I'll show you these ones. Um, so I bought these metal ones from La Mode. Um, they've got, they're just a simple gold with an anchor stamped in the middle. Um, I'm really connected with anchors. There's a personal story between my sister and myself. Um, if she's okay with me sharing it, maybe I'll share it. But as of right now, no. So, like, I've got anchors on, like, my work lanyard and things, um... But when I saw those, I'm like, I have to make, make needle minders. I'll keep one and I'll sell the rest. And then if other people are interested in them, um, I'll buy more of them and make more. Then I saw these confetti buttons. Now, the, that, those were um, metal, the anchor ones. These are just plastic. But they had sugar skulls that I thought were super cute. They had fox, 
foxes, fox faces that are super cute. Uh, donuts. I love me some donuts, so why not, right? Uh, hamburgers. French fries. And cupcake, cupcakes. So I'm going to turn all of those into needle, needle minders once I get the bigger magnets. And then I'll put them on up for sale and I'll let you guys know. So there's all of them that I bought. And then, as I was getting ready to leave um, the cross-stitching like DMC aisle, I saw this and I had to pick it up. It's a Design Works. Uh, by Joan Elliott, uh, Joan Elliott, um, and it says, look up and see the beauty of your dreams, believe in them, and follow where they lead, and I thought that that was just amazing, um, it's really pretty, kind of my color tastes with the blues, um, and it's just really gorgeous. With this, it obviously it's a kit. Um, I think I'm going to use the threads that came with it, but not the fabric. So I bought, because uh, it came with 14 count white Ada, I bought an 18 count Charles Craft DMC Ada that I'm going to use to stitch this on, and then I'll use the fabric for something else. Um, because I know it's a kit that there's not going to be enough threads for me to do three strands for the 14 count. Because I find with 14 count I really like to use three unless I want the less is more or less covered kind of look. Um, but this was only 17 bucks, So it wasn't too bad. And then I got the 20% off. They didn't have uh, like the 40% coupon for some reason. Or at least the, today they didn't. So there's that. And then that's it. On that. So. I think we're ready for. Oops. That's the wrong. Yeah, that's the mail. I need the internet. Um, we're ready for the giveaway. Right? Ready for the giveaway. So, as I said earlier, um, I'm giving away one of Marlene's bags, Stitch them by the Lake. Absolutely gorgeous. I bought this one because it has the key charm, and I've got a special affinity for keys for some reason. Um, So I'm giving that away. Um, all right, so we're gonna do this random number gener generator. <clears throat> so originally I was gonna do, I think there's a random comment picker or something. Um, so I was gonna do that, but I didn't know how to work it because not everybody that commented entered into the giveaway so I wasn't sure how to how to work that so I went through and wrote down everybody uh, on the front and the back of the paper that had commented that entered and there was 19 people um, so I'm gonna have it pick 1 through 19 and I'll show you so ooh. So we're on random dot random dot org, and on the side here they got the random number generator, and so minimum number is one, maximum is nineteen, and we'll go ahead and hit generate. So I'm gonna do it so you guys can see. So generate number fourteen. So number fourteen is oh Jan one two two eight so 
number 14 is Jan1228. Um, you have won a bag from Marlene. So um, I believe I got your address. Go ahead and send it to me again just in case. Um, I'll leave my email down below. Um, and then you'll have to get in contact with her um, to pick the bag and all of that. And then I will pay her and she'll ship it out. So, whew. So Jan1228. Woo! So I, I know she's been watching me from the very beginning. Um, so that's kind of exciting. She's given me some stitchy kindness, um, which is amazing. So thank you. Thank you to everybody that entered. Um, I will do more of these because this was actually kind of fun. Um, so I will do more of these as I figure out things to give away and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I know for the thousand, when, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I want to give away a gift certificate to, I think, 123stitch.com. Um, but if you live overseas and can't access 123stitch.com, um, or they don't ship to you, rather, then I could do a gift certificate to your choice of online um, shopping retailer that sells the gift certificates. Um, but that's once I hit a thousand, so maybe it'll be soon. Um, anyway, I'm going to show some steals, steals and deals. Um, I went to the thrift store to look for specifically frames and I didn't see any that I liked or that were the sizes that I needed. Um, they were, the ones that I saw were like massive, ginormous, huge. Um, so I looked at the purses because as a lot of you know, back here, right? For whatever reason, I'm addicted to name brand purses, especially if I can find them at uh, great deals. So, um, I went to Savers and I bought, I found this guy. It's a coach uh, white satin finish for four bucks. It has the hang, hanging tag, the original hang tag. Um, and it's in actually really, really good condition um, for what it is. It has kind of this khaki green colored interior, has the um, made in China uh, deal. Um, doesn't have the Coach Creed, but back when Coach was putting the Coach Creed in their bags, the smaller pieces did not have the Coach Creed. So there's that. I was just over the moon. So there's her. She'll find a place somewhere back there, maybe. Um, this, I don't think I showed you guys, but this is a Juicy Couture. Um, it's a Juicy Couture. I loved all the bling um, and the keys. I think it's got a little locket and stuff. It's just a little pouch. has the J on the back. has the string and then the J for the um, thing, the zipper pull. So that's just that. So I've had that one for a while. Um, but just recently, I decided I'd put it back there. So, Coach will find a home somewhere on this shelf, probably. Um, then I saw this, and I thought it was really cute. And I'm going to use it for stitching stuff. So, right now, I throw them, I have this little Coach um, key holder. Um, it's falling apart. I need to 
sew it back together. I've had it for a while, um, used it with my keys, um, but I put like my scissors in there um, so they don't poke anything or anything like that. It used to have plastic, but the plastic's done since popped out. <laughs> um, has a little pocket there. But because I do that, for that kind of stuff, I figured for things like needles and then for that little bag, um, I needed a little bag to put them in. So this is just a little makeup bag. It's brand new. It still has the um, plastic on the seashell and it's uh, an Estee Lauder, I believe, uh, makeup bag from probably a free gift with purchase or something. Um, but I liked the gold and the blues and the teals. Um, and then I liked the ribbon zipper pool. And then it was only 99 cents. So couldn't go wrong for that price. Um, and it's brand new. It doesn't look like whoever owned it used it. So I figured I'll use that. Um, I did want to mention, because I kept, I keep forgetting to show you guys. I started keeping my orts. So last year I told you guys that I didn't have an ort jar. Well, now I have an ort bag. I've started keeping all of my old ratty threads in. So there's that. Um, so I can keep stuff like that in that bag and have it all in one place. Well, then I continued looking around and came across this lovely gem. It's a Dunium Burke. It's in pristine condition, just needs some cleaning and leather conditioning on the leather. Um, needs some cleaning on the inside. Um, otherwise, it's in perfect condition. Um, has the Dunium Burke Ooh, tag there. Um, does not have the hang tag that Dunium Burke has, but that's okay. Everything else is perfect. And I got this little number for six bucks. So I snatched her up. Beautiful, right? Why do I need these things? Why, why do I need these things? I don't. I don't need them. But I find them and then I have to buy them because they're name brand and they're really good prices and really good deals. Um, really good condition. Then I found this guy. It's another Dooney and Burke. Um, it's a little mis misshapen, but I can shape her. It's uh, blue, of course, because... I love blue. Um, has a little clasp for the keys on the inside that Dooney and Burke's known for. Has the same kind of tweed-ish kind of fabric. Um, has the Dooney and Burke tag over here. Right there. That has the serial number and all that kind of stuff. Um, it says Dooney and Burke on a, the leather. Again, perfect condition. This one has the hang tag. That says Dooney and Burke. Again, six bucks. It was a steal. Like I said, it's a little mis misshapen, but nothing. A uh, little uh, steaming and stuffing it with uh, paper and stuff. Um, again, you know, just need to clean it up a little bit. But that one's in perfect condition. Then, I found this. Um, now, I love Coach. I don't know why, but I do. My favorite brand of all time, I should say, is Louis Vuitton. That is, that's never gonna happen, right? Um, just way out of my price range. Well, I really love Coach. Um, my husband does too. Um, my work bag's a Coach. My uh, His bag that he takes to and from work is a Coach. 
Um, so I found this hanging on the shelf, uh, on the rack, on the upper part of the rack. And I'm like, well, that looks like a coach. So I took it off, was reading the stamping here, and it says coach. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, that says coach. Huh. And it's kind of a little tarnished and all of that. It has a belt loop that you can put your belt through. Um, but also has this hand uh, strap that's removable. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. That's, that looks kind of funky, right? So I open it up. Coach, right there. It's Coach. It's an old school Coach. An old school Coach pouch. Has the elastic on the side. And what it's for, or what it was originally for, was for cell phones. And that's why it's got the little cutout notch. Because back in the day, you know, people had those bar phones, you know, like Nokia and whatever, that had the little uh, antenna on the top. So that's, that's what it, it's for. So it's a vintage piece, in good condition, just needs to be cleaned and conditioned with leather conditioner. Um, so there's that. So I added that little dude. Um, I'm probably going to use it for like sunglasses, that kind of stuff. Um, it even says as a stamping, uh, made in China, which a lot of, almost all coach, almost all, not all, but almost all coach is made in China. Then we were getting ready to check out and at the checkout, I noticed that they had a rack of bags. So I decided to look through. And the very first bag that I came across was this. And of course they had a little clip like that. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I recognize that from one of Coach's recent, and by recent I mean within the last couple of years, I think, um, collection that had the perforated leather at the bottom and the little tassels. So I took the clip off and I'm like, well, I'll be damned, Coach. Uh, Coach New York, embossed in the silver. It's leather, has the tassels. So I opened it up and sure enough, she's a coach right so uh, again there's a little staining but I think I can get that out um, it has a pocket there card pockets there beautiful I was just so I was over the moon over the moon oh two ninety nine for that uh, this other coach was one ninety one ninety nine yeah. So one, one ninety nine. So, all together, I spent twenty. What was it? Twenty three, twenty three eighty three for all these designer goodies. Now, I didn't see any cross stitch, or I would have rescued the cross stitch as well. Um. But I kind of take the same or similar stance that everybody does with the cross stitch at thrift stores in that I have to rescue the designer pieces. So that's what I did. So there's all of them. That's all. That's all my video. Thank you for watching. If you're new uh, and subscribed, you know, thank you. Please subscribe, like the video if you're returning. Welcome back. And I will see you all next week. Have a happy, happy stitching week. Goodbye.